Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. Here about to give you the update about what's going on with Apple. Some new products, some new rumors, so let's gonna jump right into it. Now the first thing is gonna be probably a brand new rebranded Apple TV, the next generation Apple TV, probably coming out no later than uh, January 2011. And uh, what this Apple TV is gonna be is focused on streaming and it's going to be an iOS 4 device as well, or iOS device by the time it comes out. And so what this is, is meaning it's going to be losing a lot of the onboard storage that it has right now. I think the current Apple TV has uh, 160 gigabytes of storage, I believe. Uh, but it's going to be losing all that. It's going to have limited storage. It's going to be, so all the videos or movies or the video content that you want to uh, play back on your TV through this Apple TV or through this iTV, it's going to be streamed over the Internet. Uh, they say that it's probably going to lose uh, 1080p playback and just go to 720p playback, which I kind of find kind of weird, but that's another part of the rumor there. But again, with this being an iOS device as well, it's going to have access to the application store, um, the applications in the App Store. So you're going to be able to have your own personalized App Store on this device as well and be able to play some games and play different content right back on your TV. Now, that may be a mixed bag, definitely in the beginning, uh, waiting for the developers to get their applications updated to be able to play back or scale up to a, a higher uh, screen, a bigger screen. But uh, that's, that's one of the possibilities of one of these iOS devices here with this new iTV. So look for that no later than early 2011. All right, next up is going to be um, the iPods. What's going on with the iPods? Now, every year annually, Apple usually holds an iPod event uh, around September time frame. This rumor kind of sticks with that. So in September, around mid-September, we'll probably see a, uh, another refresh of the iPod lineup. And on the iPod that most of people are worried about is the iPod Touch. And that is rumored to be getting a retina display just like the iPhone 4, but also a camera. Now, due to uh, all the rumors going around, nobody really knows for sure whether it's going to be a front-facing camera or a camera on the back or both. Now, uh, more than likely, it's definitely going to have a front-facing camera, so it'll be able to do uh, initiate FaceTime chats with the iPhone 4 or another iPod Touch. Now, the reason being is because um, some developers have found that in some of the betas that Apple have been releasing to developers of a future software update to the iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, it has the ability to initiate a uh, this code in there to have the, to have the ability to initiate a FaceTime call. Uh, by using the other person's email address. So you enter in the email address instead of a phone number and uh, you'll be able to start a FaceTime call with them. So that more likely says, okay, the only reason you'll want to do that is because uh, they don't have an iPhone or they don't have a phone number. Um, so, um, so that's more likely going to happen. So September we'll see a refresh to the iPods. Uh, there's been rumored that it's a brand new iPod Shuffle which is going to be touchscreen all the way. So it's going to be like a little one inch touchscreen device. I mean, that doesn't make sense because your finger is going to be covering the whole thing, but I don't know. We will see, but that's one of the rumors out there. Now, if you also wait for a, one of these white iPhones, uh, there are people out there saying that you're probably not, not, you're probably not going to be able to get a white iPhone until later this year, late this year, or early next year because of manufacturing issues. they got problems getting the, the, the white um, they're whitest and there's some light leakage problems and other stuff like that. So, uh, so you're waiting for the white iPhone. you might want to just go ahead and start going to get the black one and get a white case or something like that. Uh, now, the last but not least, we always got to talk about the new Verizon iPhone. Uh, a lot of people have been coming out, a lot of analysts, a lot of people who are in pretty uh, stable places and made some solid rumors in the past. I'm um, saying that the Verizon iPhone will be coming in January 2011. Now, one of the reasons why is because the Verizon CEO is going to be at CES that year, which is in, also in January as well, and he's going to be having a keynote, more than likely talking about a Verizon tablet, but he'll probably be talking about a Verizon iPhone as well. But also, there's been uh, reports that there have been testing for these CDMA uh, iPhones out there. That's the network that Verizon uses. And uh, there's been, they're already in the testing phases. And possibly this new iPhone may have some redesigned hardware as well. It may also have an internal antenna to help with the antenna issues. Uh, slightly bigger screen. And uh, that's about it, I think. Um, so, so the Verizon iPhone, January 2011, I'll say it's like 70% likely that will happen. So if you want to hold out until then, you may. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. So anyway, it's been so you know it's best. I'm going to cut this video off here. If you have any other rumors, any other suggestions, or any things that you may think Apple may be going on, leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.